An ice cream truck owner is worried that other operators not following the rules could scare customers away. This comes after two unknown ice cream truck drivers recently failed their vehicle inspections. Manisa Dandabalan has the story. Ice cream truck is like literally the attraction for our children. Kids usually just go and run close to them. Halton police shared these pictures of the two ice cream trucks that were pulled over. Both were overweight. One didn't have seat belts, while the other didn't have a working parking brake, and the steering was malfunctioning. Police have obscured the identifying markers. So certainly we want to make sure that all commercial motor vehicles are safe, but especially commercial motor vehicles that are operating in our neighborhoods and near children. There's an especially a special attention that needs to be paid to those vehicles. For parents who have kids who love going to the ice cream truck, it's a little concerning. When you have more than one, you, you do worry as a mom that maybe, you know, there's a lot of them on the road that may or may not have the necessary safety features in place. But there are other ice cream truck drivers who are following the rules. Jimmy Raptis and his wife have been operating cold gyms for almost 20 years. They've completed their annual inspections, health inspections, and their daily inspections. They also have a commercial vehicle operator's registration which is needed when any truck weighs over 4,500 kilograms. There's numerous things that you have to do than just get in the truck and drive. And to have non-operational brakes is a little scary to me in a truck like this. I don't know if it's just uh, inconvenience for them to do all this or, or a money thing, but I'm not really sure. Like, I mean, our life is in this truck, so why wouldn't we want to have it up to par? Raptus and his wife are worried that those two specific ice cream trucks who weren't following the rules are going to scare customers away and ruin business for others who are following the rules. Now they're going to look at all of us in that, maybe in that same light, which I hope they don't, because most of us, well, as far as I know, we all follow the rules, but apparently not, but it's unfortunate. Halton police say they'll continue to be on the lookout for any similar violations. Manisa Danabalan, CHCH News.